many of you probably do, is we have this cupboard. Hold on. We have this terrible cupboard full of pots and pans in here. And it's a mess. There's got to be a better way to organize them than just stacking everything and clanking everything every time you need something. That's what Google's for. Second and hold on. Where's the best? Here we go. Nah. One second. Uh, oh, my camera went into a spider web. Let's take a second to talk about today. Um, today is August second. <laughs> August second. Today is vlog two hundred. Two zero zero. Does that line up? Two zero zero. I never know which way that goes. Today is log two hundred. I have done almost two hundred episodes of my life. Yes, some have been definitely a lot smaller. Some have been awesome. I've been everywhere, and I keep saying that I need to get caught up so I can focus on it. And I do have a plan here. You'll have to bear with me. I know I said I was going to catch it by August. I apologize to myself because that's the only thing this matters to at this point. Uh, Schoenfeld came, and it became a lot more than I thought. We had to do a lot more things, a lot more complications, so I got caught up not getting caught up on work, if that makes sense. But I'm back on track now, well, on a new track, with nine left, and I should be done before Sunday. And I plan to go home, actually, for the first time back to Iowa this Monday for like 10 days or something like that. It's, it's going to be a long trip. I'd like to leave Monday morning at 6 a.m., get to Des Moines, hang out there for the evening with some friends. The next morning, or excuse me, Tuesday or Wednesday, is going to be dedicated completely to my grandparents. This is the one time I'll get to see them before they go back overseas, because usually I'm there with them all summer, but since I moved out here, I'm not. So one of those days will be fully for them. Half of the other will be spending time with friends at Cedar Falls. The other half will be getting ready for Somerset, my one reset of the year. And actually, I wasn't going to go to Somerset, uh, there are a lot more things in play and taking the time off and, and being here has just been awesome Like I just want to be here and do things, but I really could use the reset It's like the one time away that I, I don't check emails. I don't check my phone. I don't do anything I just listen to music I camp and I just relax and I kind of Get my gears back into play and the thing right now. I'm trying to figure out is how do I continue vlogging in some in those circumstances? I mean, I probably take my GoPro, but I'm probably not I'm almost most definitely not going to be taking this unless I can leave it somewhere safe. I don't know yet. I, I'm going to see, but my GoPro should be able to do everything and my phone, but I don't know. And that's the, and that's the thing. And just like this past Sunday, there's going to be days where I don't do anything and I need to just reset my body. I'm not to the point yet where I can just keep going or things are filled up completely and I'm getting tired of not creating enough content on my own end, even though there's not many people watching, if that makes sense. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to shoot Somerset, but still re be respectful for those that are all out there, and do the same as me as well. Um, obviously, and like some of my inspirations, one of my biggest obviously is Casey. There's times that there's personal times where it's just like family and friends that you don't shoot, and finding a good balance between that and being able to still tell your story throughout the day is something I'd like to do eventually. Um, I'm already in works of creating structures and how I'd like to take my episodes and it's going to be a lot of fun putting it all together but I just need to get there. It's going to be crunch time and boring for a few days and travel home and that's going to be, that's going to be intense. Did I even finish my schedule? No, I didn't. Uh, so Thursday I'll leave for Somerset because we have early passes I believe. Come back Monday, hopefully I'm not too tired. I'd like to get down to Iowa City real quick and hang out with those friends and people that are down there. Um, and then Tuesday will be my day to spend completely with my family in Cedar Rapids. I don't, I guess, I, I, I'm thankful that I, there's never been a time where I've missed them even. I'm thankful that I'm finally, I don't know how to put this. To be honest, my immediate family and I haven't had the 
best relationship in the world. And since I've finally figured that out, I've been doing my best to try to learn how to be more of a family person or a family man or to be more involved in the family. And our family's different and so is everybody's. Everyone's got crazy families, everyone does weird things, but but there's never really been a time, there's never really been a time in my life that I've missed them as much as now and I am happy about that. I haven't seen them in a few months, which is the, probably one of the longest in the last few years. I mean, when I was working a whole bunch in the scene like six years ago, I rarely went home and I didn't care. I was thinking that everyone's against me and you're only going to take care of yourself, but in the end, like, I was pushing them away when I thought they were being mean or whatnot to me or they were just trying to do their best to get me where I needed to be, pushing me to work harder, pushing me to study, pushing me entirely in all different ways and I pushed back and I regret that, but through all of that I have learned so much more the importance of family and I am excited to see them and do whatever they want to do even if it's just eating and then just relaxing. I've always said time spent is time spent. I don't really have anything cool for 200. I didn't plan it out really. I've just been catching up on work. I had it noted, but yeah, we're not really doing anything tonight. Maybe we'll go out for a few drinks. Probably not though, because I really want to catch up on work. And even last night, it was almost 9 p.m. and I was still clipping and cutting and I felt great. Maybe I'll finish cleaning up these rocks here because I haven't done it yet. 200 episodes. It's been very cool. I got these black tubs to sit on, but they keep sinking in. Um, I want to talk a little bit about this too. You know, after this move and I got here, I said I was going to catch up. I've been, or, I've, I've been saying that for a long time, and I wanted to. But with just getting back to living in one spot and not traveling every two to three days, it's it's been a, a dramatic change health-wise, and uh, mentally and physically. I've been in the best mood of my life. I've probably been in the best health right now than I have been in the last four or five years, if not more. There's been so many positives to being in one spot that I've been waiting for, and through that, I've been wanting to just indulge in the city and do so many activities, but then I'm getting behind on work, and I said I was going to catch up, and then I started thinking, you know what? Maybe I won't do this. Maybe I won't vlog. Maybe me just doing this all the time is hindering me from doing my other projects and whatnot. And I, I kid you not, I, and I kid you not here, I have contemplated stopping these episodes for the millionth time, I don't know, for the longest time I've said, oh, you know what, it, it, they're not doing anything, it's nothing, but then when I, when I sit there and I just scroll through for my own behalf and look at the fact that I just created 200 episodes of my life for me, you know what, if anyone wants to watch them, I would love that. But in the end, I created these episodes every single day, or, uh, so I can look back or share with those around me what happened in more production than just a snap story, which obviously fades within a day. But that's kind of how this all sparked. I love vlogs and I snapped a lot. Being on the road, you've got nothing to do. You're just with your own thoughts and that can get dangerous if you start thinking of one thing and, let it, and having no other input and letting that cycle. That's how I got really negative a lot of times. And, and that's how I, you know, got really snappy at some people. I, I, I would have one idea or one thing happen, and since I wasn't spending very much time with, I wasn't spending much time with certain people. I was spending a little bit of time with a lot of people across the board, across the Midwest, and it, it, everything was just so temporary. And driving so much, you just you have to find ways to keep yourself occupied. You're not gonna just, uh, you're not gonna scroll the web for new software or new gadgets, and uh, that's dangerous, you know. All that time driving for the last six years, it, it, it just added up to nothing. I was just kind of contacting people and making sure I got to the next show, and I, I fell behind on gadgets and websites and new things coming out, inventions, anything, trends. I, I was so behind, and that was one of the other things, to catch up on just life, not just mine, but the world around me. I'm kind of spitfiring here, but I really developed a cool snap story that I enjoyed to even look at where I was everywhere, and I should have started vlogging back then. When I was going city to city, that would have been great. And, and it regrets regrets. You can't regret, otherwise you're just going to sit in the past and dwell. You're going to acknowledge and move on and figure out what you're going to do next differently so you're happy with it. And that's what I'm going to do. I've had so many excuses to, or I've made almost so many excuses in my head to, to stop doing this. Like, oh, it's too much. And you know what? I was the one that got behind on work, so this is my thing. I need to catch up. It's not anybody else. It's not in anything. You know, people come and go and friends, it's, that's life. This is all me. And if I want to do it, I need to do it. And this is the one thing in my life that I, I want to create no exceptions for. And I, st I mean, minor ones coming here and there, but I said I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. 
I'm going to catch up. I'm nine away. And I think once I get there, as long as I stay on track, I'll make a movie in the day, and I'll just be able to do anything. Minus the fact that some days will conflict, or I'll be busy all day and adventures and whatnot, and I will have to catch up the next day. Or the vice versa is, some days will be quite boring for vlogs. You know, I've got a lot of projects where I'm just going to sit at my desk and tinker with a lot of electronics, and through that, I have to figure out a way to tell the story. As Schoenfeld said that he enjoyed watching some of my cooking things, and I just kind of threw them out there, and I don't have much structure to it. And maybe that's something I expand on. You know, I like to cook. I'm not the greatest one, but I like to find random recipes on Facebook and and try them out. They look cool in there, why not? I mean, I've bought a bunch of equipment to make my own overhead rig so I can start shooting some cool stuff above. There's a lot of things I'm going to be doing, and it's all going to start as soon as I catch up. And I will catch up because that's what I want to do. I want to keep doing these. And no matter how hard it's going to get, that's the struggle for for content. That's the struggle to make good videos, or that's, that's, that's the struggle for anything good. Anything that's worth it is not going to be easy. I just blabbered on forever. Happy 200 episodes. Oh, there's another pineapple uh, growing in our yard, apparently. I might take this and plant it next to this one. We just have a row of pineapples, so everybody just thinks we're growing them here. <laughs> After I get my videos finished, though. just finished my fifth one for today. I'm gonna let these encode and I'm gonna give my hands a break here because they hurt. Bills are the worst. Oh. Um, Chris invited us to the Rockies game, but we should probably stay here and get things done. And it's already the game. So we're gonna make some food. And I'll probably get back to work. <laughs>